Hi guys, this is your hottest chef on internet, Chef Pratik Dhawan, with the hottest recipe of the week. In today's recipe, we are going to travel to the streets of Kerala, and there we are going to make paoli chicken fry. So let's start cooking. For Kerala paoli chicken fry, first we'll make the chilli paste mix for the marination. We'll first cook the chilies in hot water. and set it aside for 10 minutes now we will take pieces of chicken start scoring them after soaking the chilies for 10 minutes it has gone soft now i'm going to transfer it into the blending jar just remove the stems and we'll transfer all the chilies into the jar to this i'm going to add garlic cloves ginger slices fennel seeds and few pieces of shallots now let's coarsely blend it and our chili paste is now ready i'll transfer it all into a bowl from this i'm going to take 1/4 of the portion for the marination in a bowl i'm going to take rice flour to that i'm going to add corn flour In that, I'm going to add salt, turmeric powder, cumin powder, garam masala, along with three fourths of the chili paste which we made earlier. In that, I'm going to add coconut oil. To get a proper consistency in the marination, we're going to drizzle some water. Whisk the marination nicely. After mixing the marination nicely, let's add in the chicken leg which we had scored earlier. Now let's mix all the chicken legs in the marination so that the marination goes deep within and also you get a beautiful flavor once the chicken is ready. While the chicken is resting, we'll move to the next step that is the garnishes. There are two type of garnish. In first garnish, we'll throw in some green chilies. With the green chilies, I'm going to also add in few curry leaves. And once the curry leaves starts crackling, I'm going to remove them out. For the second type of garnish, mix the grated coconut with the 1/4 of the red chili paste which we made earlier. After mixing the chili paste with the coconut, we'll transfer it back into the same pan which we had fried the first garnish before, and cook it till we get golden brown color. Once this is the color changing of the coconut, transfer it into a pan and leave it aside till you finish the final preparation. Now that both our marinade are ready, it's time to start frying the chicken. For that, I'm going to heat the same pan, add coconut oil to it. Once the oil start heating up, we we'll start putting the chicken legs into the pan. Slowly put one chicken piece at a time. And cook them for at least 15 to 20 minutes or till the time they are well done. Now we start with the second batch. Now that we are done frying entire batch of chicken, with that we'll start up with the plating.
and to accompany it some lemon slice on the side and there you go guys this kerala appetizer is now ready do try making this thing at home and do let me know how it turned out in the comment section below i'll see you soon in the next episode till then take good care of yourself and keep cooking